very, very much. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I want to talk to you guys about loving the Lord your God with all your strength. Yeah, see, Jesus said that you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And he said that's the greatest commandment. And today, specifically, I want to talk about loving the Lord your God with all your strength, or might. Some translations say might. Now, for one thing, I think that this is saying that we should love the Lord our God with our bodies, right? Our actual, like, you know, flesh and bones, our muscles. Use your body to show God that you love him. So, like, if you, if you rake your elderly neighbor's yard, that's showing God that you love him with your strength. If you help move chairs after church, that's showing God that you love him with your strength. And I think that sort of thing is part of it, but it's not the whole thing. Because you know what? Some of us aren't strong, right? Some of us can't move chairs. Some of us can't rake yards. Some of us can't, can't move at all. So if you're not strong, does that mean that you can't love the Lord your God with all your strength? No, you still can. So I had my dad help me a lot with some of the studying for this video and the videos where I'm, I'm talking about this passage where Jesus said that you should love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And some of these words are in Greek in the New Testament and some of them are in Hebrew in the Old Testament. And when we were looking up the Hebrew word for strength, I found something really interesting because the word that they used for strength is used a lot in the Old Testament, but it's not usually translated as strength. It's usually translated as very, or it's also used to mean like exceedingly or much. So it's sort of like saying, love the Lord your God with all of your very, with all of your muchness, with all of your abundance, with all of your exceedingness. It's sort of like it's saying, love the Lord your God very, very much. God doesn't want you to just, you know, like, eh, love him. He wants you to love him because he loves you a lot. God loves you so much that he sent his one and only son, Jesus, to die for your sins so that you could be with him forever and ever and ever, so that you could have eternal life. And sometimes I think we kind of like diminish the importance of like really, really loving God, like getting getting excited about it. You know, sometimes at church, it's like, this is a quiet place and we need to be very quiet. And don't get me wrong, it is important to be still and respectful before the Lord. But it's also important to, you know, get up and dance and shout praises to our Lord and Savior. Love God with our muchness. And I don't I don't care who you are or how strong you are or what you can physically do. We can all get excited about God. And man, what's not to get excited about? The God of the universe who made everything with just the the words of his mouth. He loves you. And not only does he love you, but he died for you. And if you believe in him, you can have eternal life. That is, that's, that's, that's very exciting. And it's cause to love God very, very much. So that's, that's my challenge to you guys today is that you would love the Lord your God with all your strength, all your might. Yeah, use your, your body to, to show God that you love him, but also use all your muchness. Get excited about who God is and what he's done for you. Love the Lord your God with all your strength. Hey guys, I hope you like this video and I really, really hope that you will love the Lord your God with all your might, all your strength. Because again, there are so many things to get excited about when it comes to, when it comes to God, when it comes to Jesus Christ. And it is not only okay to get excited, it is important to get excited. It is the appropriate response to get excited about God. To love God with all of your muchness. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength.